In the heart of central Kansas, near my daddy's boyhood home, there are miles and miles of fences where the posts are made of stone. In the middle of the great plains where a tree could scarce be found, men carved out limestone pillars and they sunk them in the ground. Now when the prairie wind comes blowing, those posts don't seem to care as the wires strung between them dance like jump ropes in the air. And standing at attention, their shoulders never tire as they hold to either side of them those strands of old barbed wire. Those posts have stood a hundred years. They'll stand a thousand more, and when the wires rust away, folks might wonder what they're for. But like soldiers in formation, dressed in limestone grays and whites, they do more than mark a boundary. They salute a way of life. They line a road paved with persistence. Not just a homestead, but a dream about a family's subsistence. Those fence posts paint a scene. It's a wagon loaded down with stone. A Morgan fights the rains. A young man wet with sweat is building fence out on the plains. So when it seems I've had a hard day as I haul myself back home, well, I just imagine Grandpa setting fence posts made of stone. Thank you.